The comic box is not in anything in this video except for our voices. We got permission from the artist and we encourage you to check them out. They are seriously amazing. Freedom. These monsters deserve their freedom. It takes seven souls to shatter the barrier, but it took only one determined human to do what was necessary to ensure that their freedom would not be temporary. Freedom would be forever. And so she gave them their freedom, giving them her own soul, so that they could be free. Monsters have been walking on the surface for nearly a decade. However, despite all those years imprisoned in the underground, someone keeps coming back. Why? This place is deserted. There's nothing left for him here. Nothing except... This feeling. They had left something behind. He tells the flowers his silly jokes. Knock knock. Who's there? Who? 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 Sometimes, he even smiles genuinely. Terrible echo in here, isn't there? Even if just for a moment, then one day, from behind his back, another flower spoke. Ha, ha, ha. He didn't recognize the echo. What happened to the excited botanist? I... I don't know. What? Could have been a prank. A glitch, even. But the following day, it was something new. He wet his plants. <laughs> And so, he would come back once a day and listen to the flower. Each day, he would stay longer than the day before. Until one day, when he didn't leave at all. Instead, he would wait, curious to identify the origin of the other voice echoed by the flower. So he waited and waited, but nobody came. Well... Guess that was it then. Wait, Sans, don't you know how to greet an old friend? Kid, is that you in there? You in there? You've grown so much. In that moment, the sparkling stones start to shatter falling from the ceiling like shooting stars. Thus the beginning of the end, the fall of the underground. <laughs>